in the old town that I ramble around. There's more pretty girls than one. Good. Yeah, 1953 Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, it's a two-door coupe. Um, I've had this car since I was 15, so this is my first car. What I try to do is kind of do an old school, new school. On the top, it's all old school, so the right vintage air type uh, equipment. So I went, bought an 84 pitch plastic and put the, top, the, the body on top of it. So it's kind of the, the amenities with kind of the old school look is what I went after. The price tag, my, my wife is not here, so I can, I can tell you. At first it was a lot of love, so, um, but probably about Twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. Did a lot of work myself. So again, it's all about a, a lot of love. People come together for the love of the car. 1964 Chevy C10. We upgraded the engine, put a four barrel on it. It's got bigger heads, power steering, power brakes, and upgraded the air conditioner. In it. Have you been working on it for the past couple of uh, For about three, almost three years, yeah. Three years? We're yeah. pretty much, we're almost to the point we're almost done with it. So it's a driver now. Some people just get them and park them in their garage and everything. This one's a driver. This one will run and drive every day. You have no problems with it. But you got to get them out and drive them, you know. Uh, even though it may be 50, 60 years old, they still need to be driven. <laughs>